Hey guys, it's me, Rohan Singh, and today I'm going to talk about the hardest chapter in class 10 math. Now, earlier I made a video which described the hardest chapter in class 9th math, but now I'm in class 10th, so I figured that I would do the same thing but inst uh, instead focus on the class 10th math syllabus. So, here we are. The link for the class 9th video will pop up over here if you are interested in checking that out. Alright, now the hardest chapter in class 10th math in my opinion is introduction to trigonometry this is a chapter with which i have struggled for a long time and i finally overcame that struggle about two weeks ago when i finally finished all the questions in this chapter and basically mastered it but it took a long road to get there uh, this uh, this chapter compared to many of the other chapters uh, in the class 10th syllabus math syllabus is above and beyond them in every single way the rest of the chapters are over here while this chapter is over here and the sole reason for this drastic change in difficulty is because of the fact that this introduces so many new concepts which i don't think any of us learned in either class 9th or the classes before that similar to what circles was for class 9th introduction to trigonometry is for class 10th that is one of the best ways i can describe this uh, earlier before i talked about circles in my class 9th math video how this chapter video in which i talked about how circles introduce so many new things and the chapter was so huge that basically overwhelmed every aspect of my being eventually i overcame that chapter too but there was a lot of struggle and suffering there and i enjoyed solving the questions but as i said before it took me a long time to get to the point in which i actually enjoyed answering the questions uh, and solving them same with this chapter eventually i do enjoy them and i do understand them and i do get why they're so important in our lives but i also can't deny that these are hard chapters and i'm looking for why that is and the most common answer i find is that they introduce so many new concepts that were frankly not explained to you or concepts that you didn't even think would exist at that point uh, which just sort of confuse and overwhelm you but that is not the only thing that trigonometry has going for it it also uh, it also has an aspect of rote memorization in which this table which uh, will appear somewhere now either you'll have to learn this table through pure rote memorization or figure out how to just solve and get all these values now uh, doing this either learning it or solving it is not that hard i'm not saying that it is very hard it is easy in some aspects but this is one of the most important tables in class 10th math no other tables come close to this and trigonometry has a high weightage in the board exams as a result it's a very important chapter and learning this table is critical to uh, you know mastering this chapter if you haven't learned this table or cannot solve it or uh, you haven't even wrote memorized it then trigonometry is not going to go well for you you're not going to be able to solve many questions or you're going to take a very long time to solve them and obviously in the exam you don't get a lot of time so learning this table is necessary and they can ask any question from this table many answers can be sort of fashioned out of this table most of the questions which can come out of this are available in exercise 8.2 one of the most important exercises in this chapter so if you want to get good, really good marks or at least pass an exam with this chapter then exercise 8.2 and one more exercise is very important but it's not like trigonometry has just this table. No, that would be too easy. It also has uh, some many theorems. Theorems such as cos square plus sine square equals to 1, 1 plus tan square equals to sec square, cot square plus 1 equals to cos x square. These are also very three important theorems. They will obviously come in the exam with a very high probability. So there's not only that, you're going to have to somehow fashion and reconfigure the equations to fit this sort of theorem and get out your values. And now, in my opinion, after this, even if uh, this seems to be easy to you, which it kind of is, uh, arise after this one of the hardest uh, topics in a chapter in class 10th math, and that is the proof questions. These questions are infamous. One of the hardest questions, in my opinion, these are most prevalent in exercise 8.4, uh, one of the hardest exercises in this entire book these questions are just tiring to solve anything can happen in these you can either rationalize 
you can divide uh, you can you you have to use the values which are given to you you have to turn them into sine square and then cos square you can use the trigonometric identities you can cross multiply basically anything which you've learned over the past years can be used here and these questions are just a weird mishap of all that in solving in, in, in fact solving these is very hard in my opinion since there is a set path which you have to follow and even if you deviate out of the set path then well, clearly you got your question wrong and marks will be deducted in many of the other questions uh, or many of the other topics which are given in this book uh, there is still a sort of set path which you have to follow set of rules but there is some leniency in it not that that you are given a sort of multiple ways to solve it but in these questions there are, there is only a one or two ways to solve it and if you don't adhere to those specific ways uh, then clearly uh, you are going to get the question wrong while in many of the other chapters you still get a lot of choice in okay how do you want to solve this question do you want to solve it using this theorem or that theorem or that theorem whichever one is the most easiest and you can figure out it that way and that is very enjoyable and fun this one isn't because you are following only one direction and if you don't follow that direction then you're done now if i'm going to speak of honorable mentions of uh, other hard chapters in math which there are many uh, then i'll have to go with quadratic equations surface areas and volumes linear equations in two variables and that's it thank you for watching my video subscribe and like if you enjoyed it and goodbye.